Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Chaos and Cryptography. If you are a person keen in developing a strong crypto system, then this video is just right for you. I will be uploading a series of videos on chaos and the role played by chaos in crypto system. This is the first video in the series. Here you will be learning what is chaos and why chaos is becoming more attractive to cryptography. So what is chaos? Confusion, disorder, noise, madness and havoc. These are the words that might strike our mind when we hear the word chaos. But what is chaos in mathematics? It has nothing to do with any of these words. Chaos is studied under the field of chaos theory in mathematics. It is defined by the properties of deterministic, nonlinear, and sensitive dependence. These are the three fundamental properties of chaos. We will learn what these properties are and why it is very important in cryptography. Chaos is deterministic, meaning a chaotic process can be defined by a mathematical model. That is, the mathematical model can be expressed as a simple equation. It can be written in two different ways, the discrete equation or the differential equation. For example, the logistic map is an example of a discrete equation. It is also known as the chaotic map. Secondly, the Lorentz system, which is expressed as the differential equation. It is known as the chaotic system. There are many other examples of chaotic maps and systems, such as sign map, tent map, ordinal cat map, Rosal system, Chen system, and so on. So when it is expressed as an equation, its usability becomes easier in any application. The next important property of chaos is nonlinearity. Let us understand this property with an example. Assume a function f of x, which takes x0 as the input and outputs the value x1. Then x1 is given as the feedback to the function f of x. Now let us first consider the example of a simple linear equation f of x is equal to x squared. This simple equation is fed into the system shown previously. The values of x0 and x1 is shown in the table. By plotting the graph, a straight line is obtained. So it's very obvious that there is a direct relationship between the input and the output. Here we see a simple quadratic equation xn plus 1 is equal to rxn into 1 minus xn. This is called the logistic map. It is a typical example of a chaotic map. Here r is called the control parameter. To generate the sequence that is tabulated on the screen, the logistic map is fed into the system f of x shown previously. I have chosen r is equal to 3.99. The graph shows a nonlinear plot, that is, we don't get a straight line. Hence, the logistic map exhibits nonlinearity, that is, we don't find a direct relationship between the input and the output. Because of this wonderful nonlinear property, the chaotic maps and systems are suitable for cryptographic design, which makes it resistant to different attacks. Next, we will see another very important characteristic that defines chaos. This is sensitivity to initial conditions. It is explained with a metamorphic example of the butterfly effect. So here we see the flapping of wings of the butterfly and on the other side we see a tornado. So in this metamorphic example, what is explained is that the flapping of wings of the butterfly in some part of the world causes a very big tornado 
in another part of the world. This is an example which is used to explain the chaotic property. That is, a very minute change in the initial condition will cause a massive difference in the outcome. Let us understand the butterfly effect with a simple example. Consider the logistic map. Here I take r is equal to 3.85. The initial value in the first column is 0 0.1. The values are iterated using the logistic map and displayed in the first column. In the second column, the initial value is taken as 0 0.101. The values are again iterated and displayed in the second column. Initially, both the values look very similar. But as the iterations grow, the values become very divergent. This is a very beautiful property of chaos, that is, sensitivity to initial conditions. This characteristic is also very crucial for building a strong crypto system. So, in this video, we have learned two important things that is what is chaos and the properties of chaos that are very important for building a crypto system. The properties are namely deterministic, non-linear, sensitive to initial conditions. In the next video, we will learn more examples of chaotic maps and systems and the test used to determine the dynamic behavior of chaos. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.